Hi, this is Josh. Today we're taking a look at a 360 Trinity that has a E82 error. And the E82 error is something that nobody has really known what caused it, including myself, until just recently. People have fixed this by reballing the processor for years. However, the problem comes back extremely quickly and I'm going to explain why. In order to explain the E82, we have to talk about the 360 FAT E74. Let's take a look at this code from the kernel that was decompiled and shared with me by a friend of mine under the name of Eaton. You can see that there's some if statement here and it checks the type of the console. Now if it is a slim console you can see that E82 is displayed and if it is a fat console E74 is displayed. You may recall that Microsoft extended their warranty for E74 to three years due to the code showing up on FATS much more than it should. And this was a clever way for Microsoft to not have to cover slims with this type of failure. So here is a FAT360 GPU and the E74 error is when the high speed I.O. link between the GPU and EDRAM die fails. Now the high speed I.O. link is on the substrate interposer, this green part here, and links between these two dies and allows the Northbridge slash GPU die to train and communicate and use the 10 megabytes of EDRAM on this die here. Now the reason why this can never be the BGA soldering at fault is because none of the connections between these dies go to the motherboard. They are all localized on this green substrate interposer between these two dies only. The only thing from the EDRAM that goes to the board is obviously the power, which would generate a different error code anyway related to power, not training, and the thermal diode in the EDRAM, and if that failed, you'd get a 0013 thermal overload. So, since none of the connections relating to the operation of the EDRAM or the high-speed I.O. link go to the board, we know that it cannot be the soldering at fault. It is either one of these dies has failed, or the bond between it and this green substrate interposer has failed. Likewise, on the slim XC GPU, it is the exact same thing. Here is the CGPU die, here is the EDRAM die, and we have the high-speed I.O. link between them, just like the FAT GPU. And it is the exact same thing. Power and temperature is all that goes from the motherboard to this daughter die here, this EDRAM die. So therefore, we know that it is not a BGA soldering problem, and that is why when people reball to fix E82, the problem comes back extremely quickly, usually within two, three months. So to fix the E82 error on this Trinity, I'm going to replace the XC GPU. Alright, I've done a basic cleanup of the flux and also done a quick RGH3 wire up so that we can go ahead and test to make sure this works. I don't have the NAND dump that goes to this processor, so that is why we have to test it in a modified state. So let's uh, get some thermal paste, put a heat sink on it, and see if it works. Alright, let's plug it in, give it a test. Alright, well it boots Zell, that's a great sign. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the key and we'll have a look. Alright, I've gone ahead and built a donor image for the CPU. Uh, you can see the old defective chip here that has the E82 error. We're not going to connect internet anymore and we're going to boot into RGH3 Freeboot and assuming that everything works we should get green lights and there we go. 
we have successfully corrected the E82 error on an Xbox 360 Trinity. We are booting to the dashboard. The console is fixed. So, now you know how to properly fix the E82 error on the Xbox 360 Slim.